on airplanes going by. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Scary. Burping or airplane? Both. Yes. They both no. frighten me. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dipship's Legitimate Boating Podcast. I, as always, am your captain, Calamity Crawl, and joining me, as always, my wonderful co-host, Rue Admiral PM. Howdy. Maritime Medi. Why are you screaming it? I'm scared. Mom, come help. A nautical neck. I'm in danger, I feel. <laughs> hey, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, oh, you know. know. <laughs> we got, hey, we got a, a lot to get through this week. Yeah, we it turns do. out this has been one of the... So we've been on air for like a little over a year now. Yeah, almost like two I years. Forget when, I, I forget like... We started in like August or something. Yeah, okay. So we're coming up on two years almost. Um, Yeah. This is like like our notes channel has been used more this one week than it has in like the entire almost two years we've been in on a hot there. minute. <laughs> it's because I usually like type things down in Google Docs, yeah, and then like I forget to transfer document. them over. Well, a majority of the time, since Nick has been a part of the podcast, like you you like do a laundry list of like ten things, and then between Medi and Nick, like they'll post like one or two things in tandem. And then I rarely, rarely post in there. And we all posted there this week. Multiple times. Multiple, Multiple times. times. Mm -hmm. I will. You know what? I'll start us off this week. Sure. sure. I've got Holy a nice God. little list. Uh, I want to say right off the bat, sad note to start with. Rest in peace, Iron Sheik. Oh, my right? God. Rest oh. in peace, Iron Sheik. Fucking actually the saddest thing <sighs> I saw. It was pretty. It, it, it was heartbreaking. Like, legitimately. Like, the man entertained me when I was a, a child, watching him on, on television. Then in my mid-teens, seeing him, like, pop in every now and again on, on television was great. And then in into my 20s, when I would uh, watch, like, fucking, um, oh, God, what are they called now? Uh, Shoutcast or, or, or Shootcast, whatever. Like, shoot interviews that he would do on the internet. Yeah. Uh, telling Hulk Hogan to fuck himself, make mm -hmm. the motherfuckers humble. Fucking entertaining through my entire life. I only Bro. know about him from Twitter. And then I was like, oh, he's an old wrestler. All right. And then I, I was, saw a bunch of uh, clips from him and stuff. I was waiting for Hulk Hogan to, like, say something like, oh, I'll miss you, brother, and everyone on Twitter to go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't get to talk. Damn. I was really hoping that would happen. Right? You, you need to understand, Nick. Uh, like, every week, multiple times a week, uh, the uh, Sheik would fucking talk shit about Hulk Hogan. And Hulk <laughs> deserved it every single time. Yes, but, like, even before all of the shit came out, he was talking mad mess about Hulk Hogan. And it was funny every time. And it became funnier after all the shit about Hulk Hogan came out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> after it was revealed Good. he was the biggest union-busting piece of shit to ever exist. Oh, yeah. Among other things that we won't talk about on this podcast. Yes, that's why I said the, yes. uh, the tame thing. The, the second thing, uh, bittersweet news. Uh, we've, I'm happy to announce that we've won the war and that we uh, yes. can continue to remain the number one voting podcast as our rival podcast, Ship Hits the Fan, has been shit canned. Yeah, oh my god! Let's go. Do we know what happened? I'm actually genuinely upset because I listened to it regularly and I was like, "Oh, this is pretty enjoyable." <laughs> nah, fuck them. But less competition. Now, now we need to go after fucking Captain Nick. <laughs> start putting holes in his boat. Oh my god! Now, now Carl, Carl, yeah. we talked about this. Uh -huh. They haven't been shit canned. They've been ship canned. Oh, you're right. Mm. That's true. Gotta stay on brand. Hey, you know what? They they liked our tweet saying, uh, hey, you know, sorry to see him go. And then meanwhile, I'm like over here like, yes, our number one position secured. They can never <laughs> take it from us. Till the uh, it, it's good that yeah, till they, the tenure after. 
it, it's good that they at least like our tweet because we can use that as clout chasing without actually clout chasing. <laughs> it's true. I followed, like, uh, I followed their Twitter and it was like 100 something and then I blinked and it was at 4,000 and I was like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, that's a fucking rooster teeth property for you. Yeah, and that's also why it's gone. They also got rid of fucking... <laughs> You know, Jack Patillo had a, a podcast where it was all about fucking uh, amusement parks and stuff, annual pass. They shit canned that, too. Bro, there's only so much you could do. Like, th- they put out, like, a, a new ride every, like, what, fucking two years, maybe? Two, three years? Yeah, it's like you got to really find things to talk about. Although you could talk about, like, old rides and how they used to be and if there's, like, footage from them, which they did a lot of also. Look, but, if like, you want to listen... Exists. If yeah, exactly. If, if you want to listen about old people talking about old things, listen to fucking Anma. I don't know and some other shit. I love fucking Anma so much. I love the things that I lo- fucking I Gus love and Anma Jeff too because I love Jeff and I love Gus. I love those <laughs> you guys are just old saying freaks. things. You know, Rooster Teeth podcast is basically dead now too. Not dead. It's just Gus was just like I'm stepping back from doing it, but like they're stepping not back, doing it on YouTube. He's done. He's done with it. Like it, yeah, like yeah, he'll appear as like a guest every now and again. Yeah, but but as the main host, nah, he's done. Yeah, now I believe it's uh, Armando, who's a really funny guy. I love his shit, but it's like they're only doing it on their website now and not putting it on YouTube at all. And it's like why, why, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I guess oh. it's to try and get more people to go to the website. But, like, no one's going to do that. <laughs> you should have done that when you had, like, a cast of people that... I, people I, cared I, I'm about? Not, I'm not going to talk smack about the new cast because I know nothing about them. Um, but, but you like, know nothing about them. Yeah. But I know nothing about them. Mm. And you're taking the... What's basically a, a historical podcast, like one of the longest running podcasts on the internet, and you're taking it off a, an entire platform... A platform where it fucking became big and with 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 a completely new cast. And this is this to me seems like fucking a setup for failure. Yeah. It's, but whatever. I don't run a multi-million dollar company. So what do I know? I, I know the, the people who are on there. Just like I know of them and I like them all. But it's like this is a weird decision to make to just put it all on just YouTube. Like, I have faith that they'll do a good job but also no one's gonna fucking watch it people are just gonna see that gus isn't there and be like this is doo-doo garbage now who gives a shit damn it's a uh, damn shame it's okay we still have we still have relics of the past like fuck face and and face jam and uh it's to- is off topic still off topic still going yeah okay it's still good. all right there's that there's uh anma there, there 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 are some good things still still around I I pretty much almost exclusively listen to uh to Rooster Teeth podcast. It's that the call and Goosebuds, and that's about it. Oh, and Adventure Zone. <laughs> Goosebuds. Shout outs to Goosebuds. I feel like you could say literally any combination of words, and I would believe it was a podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> pretty yeah, much. Castle Super Beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, yes. Oh, and Red Web. That's another one. You see, that's also Rooster Teeth. You're yeah, proving I, my point. I yeah, that... cannot get behind Red Web. I tried. I gave it like thirty episodes, and that's fair. I I I can't. I don't like yeah, it. Personally, I'm more of a fan of Web of Shadows. That's that's I hate you. probably a lot better. <laughs> no, that's a Spider Man. I also I uh, I'm that's gonna why I said it's a lot better. I'm also just gonna post this in here. Fan art from uh from Chills. Oh uh, hell yeah, these are great. The, Some work uh, in progresses. Yeah, I, I audibly <laughs> spat when when I saw Nick's. Yeah, Nick's is great. <laughs> it's so good. The fact that it's just and, like choppers. And and Medi Medi is from the wrong anime. He's, he's uh, from JoJo. Hey, I'm a JoJo there. Yeah, that's right. I like JoJo. JoJo. He ain't a One Piece. <laughs> now, I'm trying to think of whose poster that's designed. I want to say Shanks, but I don't think that's like Shanks' Mihawk? pose. Maybe Mihawk. I don't know. Uh, I, the, I, the I didn't eyes check are, these. To me, are closest to Mihawks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And the sideburns too. I really but love hey, PMs. Uh, I think I'm Smoker. Me too. That's uh, like Smoker, right? Either that, that makes sense. So- Either that or a fat Sanji. I honestly, <laughs> I thought of yours as a white beard. Okay, oh, yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Well, so maybe like, when ooh. it's like done, we'll we'll see the uh, the references and know if we were right. Chills will probably mention them. Probably put them in the comments. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, what else? We got? I got a fucking laundry list here. Uh, oh, shit, I think we laundry. should enter the FGC scene. Nope. Out. I. I- I have carpal tunnel. I literally can't. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We're going to enter sponsors. Oh, okay. We're going to sponsor the baby ducks. So you need money to sponsor what? things, chief. <laughs> so 
Correct. Okay. So, friend of the podcast, the former co-host Jordan, uh-huh. uh huh, did a uh, first. Oh, this shit. Did a okay, first to fifty <laughs> with our friend Ari. Uh, Ari's uh, team name was uh, Yowie, and Jordan's was the Baby Ducks. And of course, I went, right. I gotta cheer for the Baby Ducks. It's got duck in the name. Uh huh. It's true. We gotta duck support the thing. ducks. Ducks okay, are hang things. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. You you want to sponsor a, a notable loser? Damn. He lost. Oh, you want to okay. sponsor a fucking loser? Well, you see, I I typed that out when he was like ahead, and I was like, Jordan's gonna take this whole thing, baby. Jordan's gonna take this whole thing, and then he lost, and I was like, oh man. But it was only by like <laughs> two points, so it's like <sighs> it doesn't matter by how many points he lost. Yeah, he's a hundred percent track record of losing at this game. Damn. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. Look, l- I'll I'll give him a chance. Let him hit the lab. Let him learn how to. Jordan actually playing the game. Jordan actually tweeted that uh, playing more matches with Eri, he made Eri rage quit. Listen, I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't think that we can sponsor him because once the new Persona 5 thing comes out, he's going to lose this game so hard. Yeah, yeah, no, he's he's dropping it instantly. I don't know. Yeah, I have faith. I'm surprised he hasn't dropped it already the second that the fucking trailer came out. Actually, faith in Jordan. I I know you don't. (laughs) Listen, listen. I want to have faith in Jordan. But also, okay. So last week, uh, I was you know at work and I was uh, vacuuming carpets and I was just sure. sitting here thinking about Gross. stuff. And I was like, I just thought of a really funny name for a spinoff podcast that we could do. And then when I went okay. to upload last week's episode, which was episode seventy nine, mm-hmm. uh, uh, I forgot about the bit that Misha di- did with uh, that's a load of horse ship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. And I went, oh, well, mine is also horse-based, so that kind of sucks. The name I came up with was uh, Ranch Hands, the Horse and Around Podcast. Ranch Hands. I don't like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't like it. And all I could picture was art of all of us standing there with a ha- ranch covering our hands, and we're all wearing Salad cowboy dressing. hats. <laughs> no, oh to me, God. it sounds like... My brain gay... went to the same place, so... To me, to me, it sounds like gay farmer porn. I'm, I'm good, dog. Mm. That, that, that that's all for you three. That's an untapped market. Yeah, it's untapped, no, all right. I'm pretty sure that market's pretty tapped. <laughs> oh, it's about to be pretty tapped. Yeah, I'll, I'll tap you. <laughs> I would rather you not. Oh, I'll give you a not. <laughs> and this is where I quit wrong, the podcast, wrong kind of animal. 81. Wrong kind <laughs> of animal. <laughs> Damn it. The most farm animals don't have knots. I'm pretty sure. So um, I was vacuuming my room. Uh huh. And uh, when did I put that fucking note in here? When was that? That was the 8th. Yeah, so Thursday I was vacuuming my room, and I uh, I was feeling like, kind of have to take a dump. Ah, uh, yes. Kind of have to. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I, you know, I can hold it. I, I, I just got to finish this one piece, and I'll be good. And, uh, you know, get down uh, on the floor, and I'm vacuuming underneath my computer. I forgot that was this week. <laughs> and I'm, I'm reaching... <laughs> You know, I'm reaching to get underneath with the hose and the little mm-hmm. attachment. Mm-hmm. And then I just feel, and I went, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's what. God damn it. Oh, uh, it wasn't a lot. It's what I can but say. But it's enough. It was enough to make me upset. Yeah, I bet. What, was it enough to change, uh, you know? Change underwear? Any yeah. amounts enough to change underwear PM? Uh, uh, that is definitely not true. <laughs> that is a hundred percent not true. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking uh, about? A little, a little Hershey stain never hurt that, nobody. Uh, see, here I was thinking PMs like if it doesn't escape the cheeks, it's fine. But no, no, that. that's it's you took it. Mm. <laughs> Look, just <clears throat> turn them inside out. It's fine. <laughs> front to backs and backs to fronts. Then it, then it gets in your pants. Yeah, but it's dry, so like oh. there, there's no there's no exchange of particles. I Does need to go ass kill not myself. Sweat? Uh, nah. You do you not no. get moisture on your booty hole? No. You not get swamp no. ass? No. I think you're lying to my face. Uh, I don't look, think you're telling me the when, truth. When you wear uh, uh, underwear tight enough, no, you do not, because <laughs> what, the, uh, what, the, what the fuck? Because it's tight enough that it like. All right, so so once you become a certain size <laughs> yeah. and a certain age, you develop this disorder. I call it. Uh, okay. It's called hungry bum syndrome, where oh, your ass just God. eats your underwear. I don't see how this prevents it from getting wet. 
Oh. If anything, this creates more con- surface <laughs> yeah, contact with fuck? butthole. No, it, it makes it so that my cheeks aren't rubbing together, so I'm not sweating. I'm basically not creating a fire. Oh my and gosh. I need that because I have a lot of ass hair. You know what? I really not hate on the you. ass, just specifically like in like right in like as my ass curves into where like uh, outside of the anus, there's just a lot of hair there for some reason. <laughs> I can't deal with this. It, it makes we shitting not really awkward. Know. It's it's like shitting through a sith. <laughs> uh, through a sith. <laughs> through a sith. Or a I'm, sith? I'm so glad the you're sith, shitting yeah. through. You're shitting through a fucking Star Wars enemy. That's great. Oh yeah, my sorry. god, I'm gonna pee everywhere. <laughs> I think oh. you're making a big deal out of nothing. We no, just I got here. So. I don't think that's. We the... just got here. Mm. Any, anyway, fucking psychopath. Always a good way to start the day. <laughs> Look, you can't afford to do laundry all the time, all right? Why well, you got to change them? Uh, I have some, and, and, and sometimes you only own three pairs. <laughs> I have some drawings. Okay. Sure, let's see those drawings. From from, what, what from are work. Drawings of? The drawings are uh, the, on the whiteboards at work, and I was like, I'm gonna save these because these are these are cute. Here's mice. Okay. Okay. Very cute. Oh, that yeah, that's cute. I like the head empty look of those mice. Me too. Those mice is good. Are you uh, sure that they're mice and not like possums? No, they're mice. Uh, someone drew a uh, a bar. Okay. Drew that's a whole tiki good, bar actually. thing. I was like, oh, that's fucking sick. I like how the dude's like, what's that? <laughs> Uh, someone left a, a lovely little note with another little bird. Enemy of the state. Good damn. Shoot on sight. The, f- the fucking <laughs> traitor. And uh, then I got cursed by an Egyptian deity. Well, who hasn't been there? I mean, listen, you play enough Yu-Gi-Oh, it happens. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, that's, that symbol on the right looks like a butt. <laughs> you See, this is why you're also getting cursed by said Egyptian deity. <laughs> I think it was made fun of his name. You called him Butthole Common. This is why I get blessed by the Egyptian day. Because you thought it looked like a butt, but you didn't say it out loud. <laughs> so Thursday at work, I uh, got a little got a little annoyed. Mm-hmm. The boss told me that uh, the music teachers had left a bunch of boxes outside because they'd moved a bunch of folders from uh, the back of the gym over to the new storage room that they stole from us, and sure. uh, uh, for storing music sheets. Because they needed to do that instead of put it in file cabinets in their rooms. Well, yeah. If they put it in their rooms, then they would have easy access to it. Yeah. And uh, I got a little annoyed because some of them still had a bunch of stuff in it. Some of them had very heavy boxes in it. And we also had to uh, to do the, the scrape the gum off the bottom of the desks that night. So I was like really behind on what I needed to finish. And I'd grabbed a... Thank you for the smiley face. Nick. <laughs> I, I cropped it out of the, the pyramid image. It made me happy. <laughs> I grabbed a uh, a chair from one of the offices, and I was just like, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to, I guess, break down these boxes and store them because they need them to be stored and not thrown away for mm. the teachers for the summer or whatever. And I just sort of got really pissed off with it all. And when I went to put the chair back, I threw it back in the room. And I went into work the next day. Yeah, and buddy. My boss goes, hey, by the way, one of the teachers in your section said that the microwave door was broken. Sometime yesterday, and oh, I went. Oh, you is... mean the one that's on the floor in his room? <laughs> oh my god! The one that the chair absolutely went flying right into when I <laughs> threw it back in the room. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, so you did this? Oh, so oh. I did this. Oh my god! He said oh, that's that. crazy. I don't know what happened. He yeah, he said that, and I was like, oh wow, that's crazy. And as I walked out, I went, that was me. <laughs> I killed someone. Th- I didn't mean to. The microwave was the first casualty of the you war. in the crossfire. I, I, I simply did not. I just forgot it was there. Hey, free, free Why microwave. Why was it on the floor? Because this desk isn't good enough for it. That's sure, whatever. Racist? I, I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you. He just wanted a microwave and put it on the floor instead of anywhere else. Although that office is like tiny. It's teeny tiny. There's like barely any room in there. But still like... Yeah, there's a piano you could put it on top of, I guess. Microwave the piano. Fucking music people, I hate them. Uh, my my nephew turned ten. Oh, congratulations! And we, I went to his birthday party yesterday, and it was fine. Nothing of note happened except for when uh my mom broke out her her brownies and set them on the table, and my older sister went to grab one, and she looked at her and went, "What the fuck? <laughs> what what the fuck? What happened?" <laughs> 
And my mom was like, what? And she went, you put powdered sugar on the brownies? And she went, yeah, I, I always do. And she went, I can't eat the powdered sugar. And my other sister went, you, you know that she can't eat the powdered sugar because she, this is no fucking lie. This is no joke. She cannot have powdered sugar on anything because she'll inhale the powdered sugar and choke on it. <laughs> I, uh, uh-huh. I, I don't think this is a medical issue. I'm going to be real. You know what? <laughs> Let it happen. I, she she is have weak. You, she deserves to be called. If now you sugar is what kills her, it was fate. Have you considered <laughs> not breathing through your mouth while you're stuffing food into it, you fat bitch? <laughs> so what are, what are we, I, I can't eat the powdered sugar because I choke on it. I'm like, are you all right? <laughs> when you when you fell at that hospital and hit your head on the tile, did it do lasting brain damage? Oh, for Look. sure, dude. Looks there, like there, there is a clear answer to to this dilemma. She need she clearly needs to build up a tolerance. So just tell her to start doing oh lines God. of it. Microdosing, doing lines. No. Hold on, I need to get my fix real quick. Uh, you do coke? No, this is powdered sugar. <laughs> I gotta build just up my immunity. Ask, dude. You know Rasputin? Oh I'm, I'm <laughs> diabetic. <laughs> Fuck you. It's like Rasputin, but instead of poison, it's powdered sugar. I'm diabetic, so I'm microdosing. So that way. <laughs> I hate all of this. Don't worry. We uh, do too. Discord, <laughs> Discord, as we all know, has put out a bunch of new policies and stupid things that are uh, dumb yeah. and no, idiotic. Not aware. And we all hate them. So I was just like, you know what? We should make a new Discord. We should be At the pioneers. Point, I, got, I got very confused at you saying we should make a new Discord because I'm like, what, what's wrong with the ones we got? Yeah, yeah no. I I, after we're working server. fine. You know, after I typed that, I was like, they're going to think I mean the server. I don't mean the fucking server. So I added the word app at the end. <laughs> that did help. I didn't see that. I just put a bunch of question marks because I only saw the first thing. You know, I, you saw, it I saw you put the question mark and I went, they think I mean the server. I don't mean the server. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we should just be the ones to make a Discord. I... All right, cool. So uh, where where are we getting our servers from? Yeah, how much money you got? We're going to steal it from Discord. Yes. I could do it. How much money you got? We're going to absorb Discord. <laughs> We're going to attack I... Google and steal their servers. I mean, well, damn, I'm down for a raid on a Googleplex, but again, right. we will host it out of the school I work in servers. <laughs> okay, now that's a plan I can get behind. All right, listen, that's happened with a lot of things, actually. <laughs> Most of it's unfortunate, but... I just think we should make it happen. We'll what find a we way. call it? Uh, that's board. a great question. Are we going to stay with a nautical theme? I oh, guess right. we should. Is that um, all I can think of is either port side or marina? Signal, oh wait. Mm. I don't know, Lighthouse. I kind of like Marina. No, that's a dating app. Well, yeah. What? I think it's a Christian dating app. What? Well, I, I don't mean that it's a real dating app, although it might be, but I feel like if it branded Lighthouse is a dating app somehow. It gives me that vibe. Okay, I got it. Yeah? I see. Lighthouse is make Nick wanna fuck. <laughs> I, pu I, I put it in general. Meab. Me it, 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 is, it is an anagram for message in a bottle. Because because of how slow our servers are, it, it's going to feel like that amount of a length of time to get your message to your loved one. That's that's awesome, dude. That's great. I like that. Yeah, thanks. That's that's silly. Just a silly little Just baby. Silly little baby. Whatever. Ooh. It's better than fucking Discord. What the fuck is a what, what the fuck is a Skype? Yeah, I don't All know. Right. I like Discord's Are, did you, name. I don't did know. Did you the pivot fuck a to Skype that is. because you realized that Discord's an actual word? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I watched some things. All right. Uh, fucking first off, the weekly animes all still fucking good, all fantastic. Oshinoko, uh, Heavenly. Yep. What the fuck's the name of it? Delusions. So good, you Heavenly the Delusion. Name of it. Love it. There you go. <laughs> I, I I've had to memorize the fucking Japanese name for when I look it up. Oshinoko, Heavenly Delusion, Hell's Paradise, all still fucking good every week. Magical Destroyers, I don't know what the fuck's going on in that show, it scares me now. <laughs> oh, well, there's some magic and they're being destroyed. Pretty sure that's just fucking Massel. Close. Uh, so, I started watching bits of uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia with uh, the Britain Flip Boys and Ulta. Those are words. And, uh, yeah, Always Sunny's a really good show, except for when I get the really bad cases of secondhand embarrassment where I have to take my headphones off and look away from the screen. Yeah, those are great. Right. <laughs> That's why I couldn't watch Arrested Development. Yeah, that is all of Arrested Development. I know. 
I'll tell you all right now, the, my favorite episode we watched is the one where they got stuck in a house trying to steal a vase because uh, three of them watched Indiana Jones and went, we need to steal a vase from this family and put it in a museum. It belongs in a museum. Where, I don't see uh, any flaws in this plan. There weren't. <laughs> where uh, Frank, played by Danny DeVito, uh, ushered a wonderful little line <laughs> where they told him that a, l- a little girl was heading his way. Where he just said, I'm going to whip this little bitch in the face if she makes a peep as he pulls out a whip and cracks it. <laughs> little girl, come your way. I'm going to whip this little bitch in the face if she makes a peep. <laughs> God damn it. Good old Daniel J. DeVito. I love this man so much. The show is so Heart. fucking funny. And then we got to the episode where Charlie Day says the N-word. Oh. On the show? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Is, hard R. Is it? Is it? Charlie Day Luigi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's Wait. fine. If Nintendo green lights it, then it's fine. New Luigi or old new, Luigi? New Luigi. Old okay. Luigi is Charles Martin. I wouldn't what do you mean what do you mean? What? Charles no. Martin voices yes. He voices Mario Luigi, Waluigi, and Wario. Oh, I meant like the live action Luigi. Oh. oh no, that's John Leguizamo. He's, dead. Rest, he's dead. Rest in peace. Oh my god. God uh, I, sometimes yeah. sometimes I wish John Leguizamo was still alive. I but don't. I'd be worried about, you know. So like the the episode, it, the whole point of that episode is that uh, the female character, D, uh-huh. uh, loses a, a lottery ticket from her purse. It goes flying out. Uh, the character, Mac, goes to grab it because he sees a ticket on the floor and goes, oh, hey, we could win big. Uh, Frank, played by Danny DeVito, is trying to look up a woman's <laughs> skirt with mirrors on his shoes. Sure, whatever, and I then guess. He, he, with his mirror shoes, he sees a hanging piano and looks up to see a piano hanging over Mac as it's about to fall. So he shouts at Mac to get his attention, to get him out of the way, look out, and then just drops the F-slur. What? Horde drops the F-slur, which everyone fucking turns and looks at him, except Charlie Day, who drop kicks Mac out of the way of the piano. (laughs) What the fuck is going on? After intentionally stepping in dog shit, points out dog shit and steps in it intentionally, drop kicks him and gets shit all over his shirt. So they go to a lawyer, not to decide whether or not what was committed was a hate crime, but to discuss who is the rightful owner of the ticket. Oh my god. Which leads to, uh... Yeah, this is an Always Sunny episode. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? The uh, the, the lawyer that they're talking to is like, all right, so I need you all to stop yelling and calm down. We're going to settle this in a nice, calm, civil matter. So the second lawyer that they talk to is is a black woman who's in the office with them talking. Eventually, they get to the point where they have to discuss, yeah, he just shouted uh, the F slur at Mac to get his attention. They fling it around a way too much, an uncomfortable amount of times. Uh-huh. All the while just, you know, saying, you shouldn't fucking say it. It's not fine. Before Mac poses the question, all right, so let me ask you this, Frank. If our lawyer here were to be the one under the piano, what words would you use to get her attention? As everyone, of course, is just like, mm, well... I feel like we're treading dangerously close to uncomfortable territory. We should we should stay away from this topic now. And everyone goes silent for a bit before Charlie Day just flat out says the N word. Oh, party are my god! And of course, it's followed by everyone going whoa, 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 whoa! Like you can't fucking what the fuck? And he's like, I'm just I was just trying to guess the word. I didn't know what he was saying because his character is stupid. It's oh fine. God. Is it's... Charlie Day the one that looks homeless or the one that looks <laughs> a little more put together? <laughs> They all kind of look homeless. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> the not one, the... Charlie, the one I'm thinking of is the one who uh, they tried to make a dating profile for, and they were like, "What do you like?" And he was like, "Ghouls." Maybe he was <laughs> the, the one that was seen of that show. I know he's the one that was Dame Man, oh! Fighter of the Night Man. Oh! All right, I'm just going to find a picture of this man, Champion of the Sun. You know, oh! it's the, the whole point of the episode is them just saying all this. Uh, just saying, like, you can't say these things, you know, you can't blah, 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 before eventually uh, dropping the biggest fucking thing of just, oh, yeah, by the way, Max character's coming out is actually gay, and that's just going to stick the rest of the show. He he is a gay man. And it's huh. the most serious moment just played out after all of that. It's, I don't know what the show is. It's insane. <laughs> the point is that they're not good people and you're not supposed to like them, but you're supposed to laugh at them. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, and you just perfectly described the show. Yeah, and and you felt all of those emotions while watching this episode, right? Yes. So it, I it felt was a all success. Of those was... emotions while oh, hearing about yeah. this episode. <laughs> a wild, wild time. Okay, this is the ghouls guy. Yeah, uh, he's the ghouls. one I think looks homeless. They beat up a bunch of kids. <laughs> what? Beat the shit out of them. 
Yeah. You know what? Good. Let's see. Oh, the, thank God. When I click, the, when I type in Always Sunny Kids into the fucking GIF finder in Discord, just automatically finds it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it beats the shit out of him. Oh, my God. It just keeps going. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, really, it's pretty great. It's awesome. Ugh. On the last thing uh, to lead into Medi's week, I suppose, uh, we watched Spider-Verse today. Good. Hey, finally. Question mark? Yeah. I haven't seen it still. I, I won't for a bit. I really liked it. I think it's great. It lived up to a lot of the hype. Medi has some words to say about it, though. Oh. Do they? That, 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 <laughs> I'm Okay. So, uh, okay. I must preface this. Uh-huh. This is not a spoiler. Okay. The movie is fantastic right up but... until... You get to the halfway point and the credits roll. What? <laughs> yeah, they, they, they said from from the get go it's a two parter. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and okay, if okay. any of the trailers said that instead of in interviews, them saying that. No, it, like yes, I've I've heard in plenty of interviews, and I I don't know specifically if any of the trailers said that, but they do I, not. I as as someone who hasn't gone to see the movie at all. I've been made well aware that yeah, it's 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 a two parter. I I think I found out about well, that one time, knew. and then I forgot instantly because I wasn't gonna watch it right away. Listen, all I'm saying is if like I went in and when the credits were playing as the end of the Spider Verse one of two, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'd be a lot better with how the movie ends halfway through. You know, with Lord of the Rings the trilogy, I knew that they weren't going to resolve everything by the end of the movie going into it. Mm-hmm. I want to watch Lord of the Rings again. I know you want to watch Lord of the Rings. Because <laughs> you're a little numb boy. Yeah. Uh, but the, the the best part of this experience was not just that the children weren't, like, <laughs> loud and awful. Oh, yes. Just like we the had Mario a bunch movie. of kids in our theater, and they were fine. That was good. Um, unlike our John Wick 4 experience, where they were running around the whole theater, which, why are children there? But Couldn't find a... Uh, Babysitter for date night. Mm. But uh, the best part for me was uh, when the to be continued <laughs> popped up and Medi just literally at the top of their lungs goes, that's it. <laughs> we paid $20 for this. I got to stay at home and watch this. That's, that's really good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, uh, I, flip, I flip my cookies. I'm like, I'm not watching the fucking after credits scene. I'm going. I got a piss. <laughs> But almost everyone in that theater fucking hysterical. I'm like pissing myself. Like holy shit. And as we're leaving oh the theater, God. two kids in front of us are just discussing like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have cliffhangers yeah. like that. I don't think they're great. And even before Carl came out of the theater, those kids and their uh -huh. parents came out and I was like, I'm glad they didn't see my face as the kids are like, ah! <laughs> imitating me and i'm like oh good <laughs> they knew <laughs> kids don't say those words but also say those words it's oh that's awesome i just got blue balled by a movie <laughs> <laughs> I, I said that i said this is cinema blue balls <laughs> i almost fell out of my fucking chair <laughs> oh, i was so mad <laughs> oh it was so fucking oh, funny man. And it was upsetting. I don't know <laughs> what else to say about it other than ah. This is why you don't go out to the movies. Just yeah. just always stay home. No, that's pussy shit. Treat yourself. Yeah, how, how am I supposed to complain about things? If why I would I treat them? myself for a fucking $24 two hour nap when I could do that at home? Why would you take a fucking nap Damn. when you're going to see a movie, asshole? Because I'm old, Carl. <laughs> because I'm old True. and I'm just pre dispositioned. To fall asleep immediately, like fifteen minutes into a movie, you're it sounds mm, like in the movie Ill. theaters. You're a fucking sack of shit. That's why I don't go to the fucking movies anymore. I haven't been to the movies in like a decade. That's crazy. <laughs> Medi, what happened? What else happened in your week? <sighs> I feel like the entirety of their week was erased by Spider Verse Fury. Did I? Uh, I told you about how one of my coworkers uh, got fired for threatening a teenager. No. <laughs> no. Was that this week? That's crazy. Anyway, okay. <laughs> One of my coworkers threatened a teenager. Did they deserve it? Uh, mm, how to say it? So the kids, um... I didn't think this would be so hard. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to Charlie Day this. Ah! 
Okay. The kid is unmedicated. <laughs> sure. That's the best way to say it. He's unmedicated and he does not have as tight control over it as, like, me or you or Carl or Pum. Well, do you mean the kid you're working with or the actual kid? The, the kid I'm working with, not the guy who got the The kid who got threatened. Okay. But you're, you're like, did he deserve it? And I'm like, I can't say no <laughs> because he might have been, like, pushing a button unintentionally repeatedly and thinking, haha, I'm funny. Mm hmm You know? Like, he, he might have been saying slurs at this guy thinking it was a joke. Like, I, I really don't know. I only am aware of the aftermath. That's <laughs> fair. Uh, but he, he threatened to, like, punch the kid repeatedly. And uh, by the end of it, it escalated to him threatening to kill the kid. Jesus Christ. A, as he was being escorted out of the building. Um, so the kid's on a uh, paid leave. Oh, well. Because a man's threatened to kill him and then repeatedly shown back up to the building. Uh-huh. Also, the guy's repeatedly shown back up to the building. Christ. And he tried to get one of the managers to enter his car the other day. What? Yeah, he, he tried to get one of the managers to, to get in his car, one of the lady ones, to get in his car with him. Uh. He's like, nah, I'll give you a ride. And it's like, um, <sighs> no. Oh, how nice of him. How yeah, curious. exactly. How I curious. don't know. <laughs> anyway. So, yay. One of my problem coworkers is gone. And the other one is on break. Yeah. And probably going to quit. Well, I would. Right? Uh, let's see. I have something in here that's uh, me screaming about food. Because uh, anytime I get uh, food at a fast food joint near my work now, they're just intentionally fucking it up or leaving shit out of my order. <clears throat> and I'm saying intentionally at this point because it's happened every single goddamn time for like yeah, two just, weeks. It just feels intentional at that point. Yeah. Damn. Like, actually, like, ruining my day. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. The next thing. Uh, I got a friend request on Discord the oh. other day. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, oh, goody. I wonder, I wonder who lost their, uh, who lost their username or, you know, I, I wonder if fucking npm has been hacked again or fucking patchy or somebody. And then I click the, the little funny button with the one on it and the, Medi has sent you a friend request. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? So, so I, I, I click view profile, and uh, they have a bunch of empty, like, they have a Twitter with no uh, tweets and only, like, 20 followers. They have an Insta that's the same, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all some variation on the name Medi. And uh -huh. I'm like, I don't know if this is just a bunch of blank accounts trying to, like, you know, not hack me, but, you know, or if this is just somebody who also uses the name, but doesn't make any content. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably just someone who uses the same name. Cause yeah. there's been a lot of people being like well, added by people because of the discord name change thing. Yeah, just being I, like, I'm assuming it's name. because if I'd hit accept, they would have been like, Hey, would you sell me your discord ID for 20 bucks? Yeah. Or something. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say it could be something like that where it's like fucking uh, profile squatting where, where you, you go and quick grab like. Oh, I got a it first. Ha ha. Ha ha. Uh, a high end uh, account name and, tr and try to sell it to that person for profit. I don't know. if I don't think Medi's a high end account. <laughs> <laughs> it's really only been me using it for the past 20 years. And I'm I mean kind of confused where this kid came from. <laughs> Come on, you you are the Mel uh, Metar Meltdown. You are the yeah, Medi. The Metar man, yeah, I'm Medi ho Meltdown. Ho host host of Dip host Ships of Dipships podcast. Uh, and former member of Team Strega. And future remembers and future co-host of Ranch Hands, the Horse and Around podcast. No. no, thank you. I'm not a part of that one, by the way. So <laughs> yeah, you are. So... You're the star. No, you know what? I'm 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 gonna sit out of that podcast, and I want to see the parallel and views. I, I want to see. I want to see just how, what the difference is between a podcast I'm not on and you three are on, and and me not on it. All right. Well, well we'll get zero views. I was gonna say, allow me to, to tell you this. I'm gonna click on YouTube Studio right now, and I'm gonna tell you how many views our podcasts have been getting. Yeah, we've. It's uh, depressing. We've I'd rather dip. not hear that. A, a bit of a, a bit of a dipshit. Yeah, we're not. We're not getting like a thousand five hundred yeah, views it's, anymore. No, it's still about five hundred. We get about like. High end five hundred on each episode. Let's right, not that's such talk that's mid, mid episode. Uh, an episode with just the three of us. Uh, the first episode might get a good couple, and the second will be like twenty. Sounds about right. Damn. 
that tends to be how it goes. Yeah, word yeah. needs to get out that that I'm not on it anymore. That's that's just how it that's just <sighs> how it usually goes. Let me tell you, the saddest thing in my life was when I did my uh, Breath of the Wilds uh, let's play, and I had uh, KZ on for three episodes, and those three episodes combined had more views than any other video on that playlist. Damn! Holy shit! You know what? I'm gonna blame the the dip in podcast views on me mainly because if I had actually stuck my foot to the ground and continued to do content throughout the years, this podcast would have so many many more views. Probably. Yeah. So, so I apologize. But also, you'd be too uh, burnt the fuck out. Too high profile to work with us. I would. Cry. Oh no! I always got time Damn. for the boys. <laughs> Very kind of you. Oh, uh, let's see. No matter how small and insignificant they are. What the fuck? Thank you. Oh, so the other day, mm-hmm. I woke up and I looked at my phone. I woke up because I had to pee and I looked at my phone. And I was like, oh, I still got like a good three hours before I got to get up for work. So, so you know, I, I have I, I take care of my little bio, uh, biology bullshit, and I go back into my bed, and I'm like, yeah. Then I wake up, and I'm like, huh, I woke up before my alarm went off. This is good. You know? Like, I woke up, and then I woke up again, and my alarm hasn't even gone off. Oh, I had to be at work an hour and a half ago. Oh. Love that. Oh. Uh, and then I was out the door like a bolt of lightning, but, you know reasonable you know the toast in mouth uh still hopping one leg of the pants up that absolutely and my whole day at work i was like i should have just called out <laughs> right i should have just been like i'm sick sorry it, i i couldn't uh. <laughs> that was great because i was awake and my stepdad was like hey i'm on my way over to your place i can't stay at your sister's because the cat pee smell is too strong uh do you want <laughs> me to pick up some uh, bacon egg and cheese i was like oh yeah sure he's like it's there i'll get him one too i was like yeah he's here i didn't know he was off today and as soon as i got off the phone you opened your door and went i slept in <laughs> help i was like oh all right you know we still have breakfast for it you know what's wild what? it's taken like over a decade and a podcast for me to find out what Medi's real name is it's all right forget I, it's a, I, it's a I, shitty I, name. I, didn't, I didn't know that was my right name said out loud i moment. did not hear it he totally yeah, yeah, just was, said your name out loud Damn. That was one of the Misha, yeah. if you could slips. scrub back a minute yeah. or two. <laughs> <laughs> just cut that. Cut, wipe, wipe that from everyone's memory. Yeah, like, if, if you known... could just if you could just put in a funny little uh a funny little I've known that, Medi's real great. name for like fifteen years or some shit. And I've just My never real name used is used Medi. It. Exactly. <laughs> like I've the name oh, I yeah, use when I'm, at work I'm, is I'm calling him Medi still. Yeah. Even, even yeah. though the other name is way shorter and simpler. Yeah. But uh yeah, wow. Because my name is Medi. <laughs> no, it's Met, stupid. Yeah, no, I right. gotta remind you your, it's, it's, your, 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 your it's M E T T Y, not M E T I. That's a different person. That's not the bad guy. That's an entirely different person. Yeah. But that yeah. does that imply that I am the bad guy still? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, actually. 100%. I mean, damn, I am, but also, like. <laughs> also, if it was Medi the bad guy, we'd once again have more views. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Damn. Oh, uh, what else you got, Medi? Uh, drugs. Nice. Oh. Sure. So I wish I... Well, that's all you got then, PM. How was your week? My week? Um, okay. So... Is that not enough? Like, no, no, no. No, no, no. Not... drugs are good. I thought I thought I had a lot. No, you did. No, you definitely did. I, I just wanted to know if you... more than my... I had and more I, than I, I usually hey, hey, do. I, right? just, I just wanted to know if you had more or not. Because if you were done, I wanted to move on now. to PM. Like, this is, this no, scary, it's fine. Yeah. PM, okay. how was your week? <laughs> Uh, so my continued ant saga continues. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Where, okay, so I've deployed ant traps. Yes. And I I guess the ant traps are working because the, the area in front of the stove is clear of ants. Yeah. Instead, they've decided to bunker in front of the bathroom. Your sanctuary? My sanctuary. Uh, thankfully, not in the bathroom, just that, like, one step that is, uh, that is between the kitchen and the bathroom. They're just huddled in that one step. That is so weird. So one day I get home, I need to go straight to the bathroom, and I see that there are... In- and this was after, like, three days of no ants, and I'm and, and I'm thinking, like, wow, I'm free. There was, like, the, the occasional straggler, like, choking and dying in the, in the cinnamon, in the, in the <laughs> absolute fucking giant piles of cinnamon I have all throughout my home now. God, um, I wish that were me. And 
and I would just like crush them and throw them, the, uh, throw them in the garbage. So, so I was thinking that the ant saga is was finally ending. And then I come home, I go to the washroom, and I'm about to step into the washroom, and I notice right in front of it, it's just like thirty to forty ants just chilling, just hanging out. Damn. So I'm like, cool. Uh, I grabbed a, a bottle of white vinegar that I had, and just dumped it on top of them, just solved the problem right there. And I thankfully still had one more pack of ant traps, so I just put them sporadically or around that area. And um, so not all of the ants died because I, I'm trying not to kill all of the ants because I want to see where they're coming from. I've yet to see a trail. <laughs> okay. I, I only see piles of them. I never see where they go or where they come from. The only mm-hmm. thing I know is that somewhere in the baseboards, but I I never know the origin point. So so after like the the vinegar had dried up and not all of them had died, like I'd say maybe half or a third of them died. Uh, they're they're all fucking running around sporadically, and uh, now I'm sitting on the toilet observing them for like a good twenty minutes. <laughs> sure, and, yeah, uh, and I start to get bored. Um, you know, the occasional ant straggler will walk into my into my sanctuary by my feet i'm like well you today you've chosen death and i would kill them on the spot uh but otherwise i'm observing them i eventually get bored i, I start fucking with my phone and i look up and i see that they've amassed on top of something again or at least that's what i think what i'm looking at is mm-hmm. um and i'm like did 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 some crumb of something like fall well i wasn't paying attention either way whatever i go back to my phone and in my peripheral, I see the entire mass moving towards me. <laughs> You're and I die. go, have they Rob combined? Ruben. Have they com- Have they made a mech of ants that are walking <laughs> towards me? <laughs> and and I I play uh, I pay closer attention to it, and no, it's one of those fucking uh, black and white spiders, uh, uh, those really tiny, fast ones that I've been seeing all throughout the apartment, is on the floor. God. I'm like, okay, that appeared somewhere out of nowhere. Uh, whatever. And I see it walking towards ants. I'm like, oh my god, if you fucking start eating ants, you are free. You you and your entire <laughs> kind are exist uh, are free to exist in my home. As long as you're here killing and eating ants. Bro, an ant walked towards it, touched it, and it ran away in the opposite direction. The spider ran? And, and the spider ran <laughs> from the <laughs> ant. Spooky. <laughs> And I'm like, Touch. death to all of you. Death to all of you and your entire kind. You are not oh welcome in this <laughs> We here on Dipsters do not condone PM's views of genocide. <laughs> no, you you don't understand. I've never, like, I, I have yet to ever have, like, my Charlotte's Web or James and the Giant, uh, Giant Peach moment where I'm like, this is a bug that I can live and coexist and work oh, with. Oh, right. The, you haven't had that moment of wanting to have sex with an insect. I got you. What? Have you oh, had that also, moment? Also that. I'm just saying um, that spider from James the Giant Peach, you know. But I was willing, I was willing <sighs> to break bread with the spider if the if the spider provided a service, which was killing the ants, uh-huh. and eating and killing the ants. But no, the motherfucker's pussy, so the pussy's got to die. <laughs> so so I ignored the rest of the ants and specifically oh targeted god. this one spider and killed it on the spot. Oh my god. <laughs> So I guess I guess with the mixture of like the the vinegar and the cinnamon, and, uh, uh, the super ants are now fucking scaring off the spiders. <laughs> Maybe the spiders just also hate cinnamon and vinegar. So when the ant touched it, it was like, oh, yeah. Maybe maybe they're toxic now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, somebody in the comments let me know about this one particular ant killer. I'm like, fuck it. If these ones aren't, it's been. It's been quiet. It's been quiet uh-huh. the last like three days, but this has happened before where it's been quiet for three days and uh, and an entire mass have just appeared somewhere else in the apartment. Mm-hmm. So assuming this this new set of traps do not work, I might go with this this one particular trap that uh, somebody in the comments left left to me. Fair enough. Uh, okay. The only other note that I, uh, I haven't like been keeping up with my anime, uh, which, which is a bummer. I really want to catch up with Vinland Saga, but it seemed like every single day something was, was preoccupying me. So I had no fucking, God, I understand. I had no choice or time. So I think what I might do now is just wait for the season to finish. Cause I think there's only like two episodes left. Yeah. So I'll just wait the two weeks and, and just binge the rest of it. 
Um, cause it's getting to that point now where it's like, I, I wish there was more right now, you know, like you want to binge it, but you can't cause it's so week to week. I don't, uh, I don't know if this is a spoiler. I guess we'll know afterwards, but, uh, the scene that was in, oh God, I don't even, actually, I can't say it. I don't know if it was the last episode that you actually saw. Never mind. Moving on. Uh, the last episode was before punching. Okay. Then yeah, you will very, very much enjoy the punching episode. It was so fucking good. Okay. Good. I'm I'm glad that it that it lived up to expectations. Yeah, yeah. The only other note that I really have is a scrambling for pie. Mm-hmm. So, so, so we're we're doing a thing this week, and this thing happens to involve uh, pie. Yeah. And um, I had pie ingredients because I was gonna home make a pie. Mm-hmm. I was gonna I was gonna home make a uh, a cherry pie. Uh huh. And uh, all of my ingredients expired. Oh. Oh. Like I, had, I, I broke out the things on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, and I'm like, "All right, time to get to work on this pie." Nope, never mind. All, all of my ingredients are expired, and I, and I, sh- I am one of those people where it's like, even if it's a day past expiration date, garbage. I, I, I cannot. Like I've been, I've been through too many episodes where I've eaten something or drank something that's just like a day or two past ex- expiration date, and I'm just like shitting blood. Not literally, but like. Just very wet shits afterward, so mm-hmm. I'd rather not deal through that. So I'm like, okay, I guess, I guess I'll just go out and either buy new ingredients or, or I'll just see if I can find pie. I could not find a whole fucking pie literally anywhere <laughs> in, in the immediate neighborhood, and I'm not going like blocks, several blocks away to fucking find pie. And uh, thankfully. Uh, we'll talk about it later, but I did find an alternative. Uh, I don't know if you guys will count it. I don't know if you guys will think it's cheating, but uh, I, I think it'll count. Oh, uh, well, well, I guess we'll find out. I guess yeah. we'll find out. Um, oh, my last day at Nordstrom. So I, I initially told you guys before that uh, it was going to be the 30th of June, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, <laughs> good, Betty? So, so, so it changed. Yeah. Uh, the last day at Nordstrom is tomorrow. For oh. me. Anyway. So, for some reason, yesterday and tomorrow, there's just no security in the building at night. Uh-huh. Okay. There will be other nights, but just these two days in particular, no security. So, uh, my boss uh, called me and my supervisor going, hey, so no security, so you guys can't go to work at night. Basically, what the, the building management wants you to do is, uh, starting at 7- just go there, collect the garbage, and fucking spot clean the floor, and then you can me- leave immediately. So me, uh, me and my supervisor went there. She she basically did the washrooms, and I collected like all the garbage from the three floors, and did the spot cleaning like on on the actual main floors. And um, we were in and out of there in like an hour and a half, and we got paid full day. Nice F- full eight hour shift for only an hour and a half's work. God, I wish that were me. So yeah, that that was today, and it's also going to be tomorrow. Which Carl, by the way, I'm probably going to be like an hour late to D ships. Okay. Um. So yeah, just just a whole, uh, and these are my days off too. No, normally, I take Sundays and Mondays off. Um. But I'm like, fuck it, I'll take I'll take a full fucking day for like no right. work. I'll I'll take that shit. Uh. So yeah, tomorrow is officially my last day, and then for everybody else, the last day is Tuesday, and then we're done, and then freedom. And then I don't really know where I'm going after this because I haven't, like, my boss hasn't confirmed anything. Like, I've gone to a couple places to train, but mm-hmm. like I said, it's been a couple places. So I'm like, okay, where am I actually going after all of this? That's fair, yeah. And I have yet to be given an answer. So this next check's going to be pretty small, unfortunately. That oh. is unfortunate. It's okay. It's not. Re- it's not a rent check. So so we're we're sitting. We're not sitting pretty, but we're sitting. Upright, at least. We're, we're That's sitting. Fine enough, I guess. And uh, other than that, would anybody like to play a game? <gasps> yeah! Folks, this is your captain speaking once again, back here to tell you about the stuff we've got happening and going on. Without any further delay, let's get right in there, baby. If you want to keep up to date with the podcast, you want to know what's going on in our lives, you want to you know if there's like a delay or anything and any sort of stuff happening, uh, follow us on Twitter at DipShipsPod. 
or you can follow each of us individually at the Calamity Carl, at GFPPM, at Metorman, and at Echo Fetish. It's E K K O underscore Fetish. If you have any questions you want to ask us or any topics you want us to talk about, you can send them to questions at dipships.boats. We, we check it every time. We get a lot of stuff there. Uh, you can also respond to the to the, the tweets that are put out, or you can just tweet at us. You can just tweet at us. Dipships pod. You can tweet your shit at us. It gets bookmarked. It gets saved. If you want to support us directly and financially, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash dipships pod. You can also uh, become a YouTube member on our YouTube channel look up uh, the calamity carl you know i mean you should be if you're if you're watching this on youtube then you know you know what it is but supporting us helps us pay our bills helps us pay our editors helps us keep things afloat <laughs> so uh you know you get uh benefits for that you get to listen to dip ships one whole day early if you are a dollar or above uh, for five dollars and above you get to watch dip ships early you get to watch d ships early you get to watch party boat early whenever it happens you get to see PM versus Anime, our Patreon exclusive series. You get, uh, I think that's it actually. At any tier, you get your name in the credits, which you're about to see. And also during that, I get to thank our $10 and above patrons, which I'm gonna do in a second. A uh, 20 and $50 are just like, if you want to suggest things for PM versus Anime, and if you want to support us for that long, then I mean, Godspeed, I'm, I'm glad you can afford to, to, to do that. Just make sure that you can afford to take care of yourself first and foremost. Don't go bankrupt trying to support us. If you have the disposable income, that's great. That helps us out a lot. That's awesome. But if you have to bump your 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 uh, tier down a bit, we understand. It's it's tough times, you know. But I would like to thank our ten dollar and above patrons, starting with Alatos Diogenes. Alatos, how dare you? Love Korak. Breakdown 707, Dr. Perpaka, the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper 113, Frost Samurai, Javier Pork Sword, Chris Derp, Lordy Fars, Mr. Collector, Mr. I Like Spam, Nap, Pam's Tooth is Lost and Scared, Ryan Superfan, The Crossing Fate, Thou art I, and I am Thou. From the sea of thy soul I emerge. I am Orpheus, Master of Plans. Thank you very much, Trev. Vine Ultimax. Wow, Buffett, KH1 Final Mix, Buffett, Steve Final Mix, and the Recorded Master, and uh, Wimpy the Grizzly Bear, and Zombie Slayer 051. And I'd also like to thank our $50 patrons. So, this is why they call it the Skeleton Dome, and the Yellow Yandello. Thank you all so much for the support. It means the world to us. Again, we use it to pay bills, we use it to uh, pay our editors. It helps us out a lot. But if you cannot afford to do such things, then hey. Just remember, podcast anchors win based on word of mouth. So share it around with anyone who you think would like it. Leave a comment on the videos. Leave likes on the videos. Uh, I think I already said leave comments on the videos. My brain... Oh. Interaction makes the videos spread more and makes them seen by more people and helps us survive. So please do that stuff, please. It helps. It actually does. It, it's... It, I know everyone hates hearing the same fucking spiel of like, like the video, comment, and subscribe. But I, 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 it does actually help. Speaking of people I like to think, I'd like to thank Vidazen at underscore V-I-D-A-Z-E-N underscore for our intro song Starbird and additional music such as Appetite Delight, Ride of the Wave, Seaside, Time to Duel, and Fire Within. Wonderful, wonderful music, wonderful person. Love him a bunch. Thank you so much, sir. I'd also like to thank Shibuya Gato and Shora, S-H-O-R-A-H underscore art. If you don't know how to spell Shibuya, I, I mean, it's the place in Japan, you know? For our art assets, Shibuya did the logo, Shura did the thumbnail, both did a fantastic job. Speaking of people who do fantastic jobs, I'd like to thank our editors as well. Misha at the Misha, M-I-S-C-H-E-R, and of course G, amazing GGG guy for our editing. Misha's been doing dip ships. G's been doing PMVA. Both have been doing a fantastic job as well. Forget that we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and of course the video version on YouTube. I don't know where you're listening, but I know where you're watching. So get your fix, babes. Don't forget to get yourself some merch. Streamlabs.com slash the calamity carl slash merch. Get your merch. Tweet it at us at Dipship Spot on Twitter. Let us know what you've got wearing. Wear a bucket hat. Get a bucket hat. Wear a bucket hat. Uh, duck merch is coming soon. I gotta set it up. We have duck merch. Uh, I'm still thinking of switching merch stores over. There's another one that I was invited to go on to try out, and I don't quite know how I feel about it. It's apparently got Philip DeFranco on the board. 
and he's like yeah no i'm like one of the major guys on this company who like has a say in what they do and what they have to provide for content creators and i'm like you're one of the few people that i would trust actually as a matter of fact so i don't know I'm, 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 hey listen that site has fucking plushes we might have a duck plush so i mean i'm just saying if we switch to that as long as the options are there baby we're gonna be fucking swimming in good stuff don't forget to check out the millennium microphone master saga or m3s the finest mess on youtube and of course d ships the dip ships humble with Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series you can watch those if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! content i bit my tongue on the side during all of that and it hurts really bad but i'm powering through it oh i'd also like to thank our youtube members i forgot about that oh my good golly gosh how can i be so lucky i think it's just fine ultimax still let's find out Vinegar Ultimax, our only our only YouTube member. I appreciate you, Vinegar Ultimax, more than you would know. Again, it's the same benefits as, as Patreon. You sign up for either one. I know some people like Kofi more. I understand. I understand that people when they were asking, they were like Kofi, but like I've never used Kofi for any of that stuff. I don't know how easy it is to have things between those and also i'm bad at keeping up with things I, i'm just bad at keeping up with things i'm bad at keeping up with things so, so i mean maybe maybe at some point we'll add it but i don't know i don't know i'm sorry and it's time for me to check our comment we have none there's no oh my god i keep forgetting every time i have to check apple podcasts it just goes all right hold on you gotta sign in and use your two-factor code shut up stop yelling at me where's the where did the ratings and reviews? The ratings and reviews aren't showing up on Apple Podcast Connect. What the hell? What? The, well, come on, dude. What do you mean? Where are they? Oh, they, what the fuck, dude? This is messed up. I came all the way over here and did all that shit to get in here and they didn't even put anything. I'm upset. There's nothing on Spotify. This swamps. Leave comments so I can check them, please. Leave reviews. There's like a Q&A thing that Spotify started doing where they just auto ask people what they think about episodes. It's just like leave comments. I don't know. It's stupid stupid they do things i'm trying i'm trying my best guy anyway i think that's all we've got uh for now uh thank you all for listening to this episode i hope you continue to enjoy the rest of this episode i'm gonna go do a lot of other things that i have to do today i don't, I don't know what that was i just turned into jimmy here for a second this is my this boat is my and you cannot be here okay i think he's gone listen i don't have much time I need to tell you that if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, then you can go right now and listen to the Millennium Microphone podcast. Every two weeks, we put out episodes going back through the anime, and we've already covered all of original Duel Monsters and Season Zero. Right now, we're in the middle of GX, we record live, and we let our audience vote on every single episode's thumbnail. So, if you're interested, keep an eye out for hey, that- Hey! Is that Shibuya Gato from the Millennium Microphone? Dude! Shut up! Shut up right now, he's gonna hear you! Did you know that Millennium Mike is available on YouTube, Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music? Dude, are you trying to tell them I'm here or steal my ad read? And features hosts like Shibuya Gato Kshora, Calamity Carl, Bioroxis, and KZ Excellent. What the fuck are you doing on my boat? No, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, d d go listen to Lenny microphone. And uh, other than that, would anybody like to play a game? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I love this games. Week's, uh, this week's game is called uh, Art. More like Fart. Got him. <laughs> got, got, got him. That's just RC farts. Show them. No, Carl, it's different. I think we need to, I think we need to uh, talk uh, about. Uh, right. I think we need to talk about Palm. I think he's uh, really kind of losing. Who's losing his edge? Yeah, no, it's just like he hasn't it's been the same since the accident. Yeah. Hold on. There's a reason why this is going down. Hold here, here he comes. Here he comes. Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey Palm, how's it going, man? Hey, How'd right, you win the big ball game? Today's. Yeah, we'll get next time, champ. Today's <laughs> first bid. Or piece up for auction is. Oh, did I edit these? <laughs> I did. Okay. I don't, I don't know. This big fucking blue thing with black stuff on it. Huh. Looks like it's been drawn on by a toddler. 
It does. Say, looks like my baby niece drew that. Um, damn. I want to highball seven thousand. This is about three Timos tall. Three Timos. Okay. I'm gonna stick with seven thousand. Seven. I'm gonna go 000. with the six point two. Six point two. Three Timos tall. Let's do ten. Ten thousand. Yeah. All right, closest without going over. Today's winner is Nick. Damn Let's it. go. 6,570 for What's some f- fucking reason. Goddamn Walk. 70. Okay, I've been giving you guys a little too many paintings. How uh-huh. about how about we swerve a little bit and I give you a sculpture? Ooh, owl. Oh, owl. That's an owl. Now, normally I say all birds are bad, but owls are cool because raccoons are scared of them. $12,000. $12,000. Wait, wait, no. How many Timos tall? It looks like it's only like one, one and a half. This might be like three quarters of a Timo. Mm. You're cut them into quarters? I want to say 6,000. 6,000. Uh, what were the other two guesses? Uh, 12,000 and 6,000. <laughs> Let's go with eight. $8,000. All right. Uh, closest without going over, today's winner is me. You all oh, fucked up. It's $180. What wow. the fuck? Wow, Jesus. Did you buy this owl? Uh, unfortunately, by the time I saw it, it was already sold. That's so uh, darn. You should just steal it. Uh, it is already gone, unfortunately. Man, you fucking suck. What kind of criminal oh, are also, you? Also, it's, it's all the way up to the fucking ceiling, so I, oh. I couldn't reach it. Oh. Jump, five heads. Uh, all right. This next one looks kind of cool, I guess. I I don't know what it is, but it it's got black and white. It looks like a Linkin Park album cover. Sure, yeah, kind of, yeah. Hmm. Crawling. I'm gonna say five thousand, Alex. Five thousand. No, for the purpose of this show and this show only, I will allow you to call me Philip. <laughs> Who the fuck is Philip? That's pretty funny. It's my game show host name. I'm gonna, uh, hmm, 5,000 and 10. 5,000 and 10. Getting Carl back for last week. Punch you in the throat. <laughs> uh, alright, so judging by the size of the little orange sticky next to it, I'm gonna guess that this is two and a half Timos tall. Uh, yeah, about two, two and three quarters. I'm gonna say 9,000. 9,000 dollars. By size. All right, uh, closest without going over, today's winner is Nick. Let's go. I hate you. That, that <laughs> just <laughs> over <laughs> mattered. Go. Just over. Yeah, unfortunately, Muddy, just over. Uh, and we'll do one more. Hey, do y'all like vinyl? Eh? Yeah. Well, this isn't vinyl, but close enough, I guess. It's just I, a dartboard. Hmm. That's a, yeah, that's a ceramic dartboard. Yeah, Which so is a this stupid is way a to make a dartboard. Ceramic piece looks looks like it's built uh, into four squares. <laughs> this is like four separate pieces. Computer enhance. And uh, no, don't, don't. I know you see me. Stop it. <laughs> this looks enormous. I'm gonna say twelve. No, eleven thousand. Eleven thousand dollars. <sighs> yeah, this is about eight Timos tall. Mm. So each piece is four Timos by four Timos? Yes. That's crazy. This is a pretty sizable piece. Nick has said $11,000. What's everyone else's guess? I fucking hate you. I know you're... Oh, oh, what? 20? Yeah. 20,000. 5,000 each piece. That's crazy. There's four pieces. (sighs) I'm going to say uh, $11,010, Alex. $11,010. All right. I'm going to fucking kill you where you stand. <laughs> without going over. None of us. I'm going to say. Today's winner is Betty. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> $21,000. And it's sold. Oh, That's crazy. Damn. That's the wildest part. That's about as much as I owe on my car. Yeah, and uh, sooner or later... We're eventually going to get to the sale uh, era of uh, of this game show because uh, a lot of these paintings did not sell at their initial prices. So Nordstrom Good. had to go uh, 25% off, 50% off. That's and insane. There, there is shit like 75% off and they're still not being sold. No one is buying this shit. 
Jesus. You know what? I'm going to give you a preview, actually. I have... I, I just thought of the perfect piece. Let me see if I can find it real quick. No, there's my pie. <laughs> mm, oh, God. Oh, there's so much now. I love oh, pie. God, where the pie fuck is triangle. Is it? Uh, it certainly can be. I pour a craft single. I pour a craft single. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, I found it. So once again, not technically a painting. Mm-hmm. But uh, here you go. Did it? It's, it no, didn't, didn't post. Know. Nope. It did, Waiting on it. It didn't post. Why, why didn't it post? It okay, said it posted. It. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there Wait, we go. Is it a surfboard? It is a surfboard that has been designed on. It is a surfboard that says wind, which is stupid because you ride the surfboards in the water. Idiot. True. True. It also looks like it's covered in newspaper. Yeah, yeah, it does. Would anybody like to take a gander? Yeah, $2,300. Yeah, I'm going to guess the same thing. Uh, it's $2,300. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and delete this image. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. This is this is also the era where I did not edit them. Yeah, yeah. All of these are not edited. All right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna save that so for funny. last, and then uh, hopefully y'all for you will forget how much it cost by then. Oh Holy my god! Shit. I love that a lot. <laughs> and uh, that is today's game show of art. More like fart. <laughs> got him. That was embarrassing. Oh, no, I know. Nick, <laughs> what you Nick now it's your turn. Please take the ball for fuck's sake. Okay. Um, oh, oh fuck. I have a bunch of notes. I'm going to do them kind of out of order, though. So I did get the pie. I'll talk about the specifics of the pie later. I do like pie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know I'm... who that's supposed to be. <laughs> me neither. So it's not very effective. What were you going to say, Nick? This pie... <laughs> is the thing that finally made my mom question the podcast. Oh, <laughs> nice. Because I, she knows I'm on a podcast. She yeah. knows that, like, whatever, I, I do this every week, blah, blah, blah. And this week, I asked her, like, hey, I have an odd shopping request because you're heading out to the store anyway. I need pie and sharp cheddar cheese. She was like, okay. And then she got home with the stuff, put it in the fridge, and came and sat on my bed like I was, like, deeply in trouble. We were gonna have a, like a like a heart to heart like a deep talk, and she was like, "I need you to explain the pie thing to me." <laughs> Everything else you've done has made sense to me except for pie. Yeah. Well, she knows I don't give a shit about pie. I don't like pie. Oh, yeah, it's I explained so out everything of to her for you to request a pie. <laughs> yeah, so she was did like, you, "What uh, happened? Are you okay?" Did you show her my pictures? Are you I did actually. Threatened? Okay, nice. I, I showed her those pictures as like a reference of like this is what I'm trying to do. Um, okay. Uh, so I wrote one of the notes was overconfidence is a slow but insidious killer, which is one of my favorite darkest dungeon quotes, and it applies to three different things in this week somehow. Uh, first, I beat darkest dungeon two all the way, all the bosses. Nice, good job. That's the last boss is super super fucking cool. I wish it didn't take me a hundred hours to get there. <laughs> Um, otherwise, I went down to get food immediately after we finished recording last time, mm -hmm. and I was really lazy and tired, so I just heated up some fucking pre-made mac and cheese, and, uh, it came out of the microwave, and I'm just, like, so hungry, so I'm like, okay, I gotta stir this up really quick, and just, like, emptied half a thing of fresh, hot, out of the microwave, burning mac and cheese on my hand, and oh. I was like, I regret every action I have ever taken that has led me to this point. Yeah. No elastic burns. I'm good. I just, you know, sink is right there, so. Well, that's good. But it sucked. That's less good. Imagine. And then um, I went back to work on Monday to do that thing, like finishing up those 25,000 whatevers I had to make. And uh, I was way more confident than I was Friday, which was a huge problem because the machine gave me way more issues and I hate it. That being said, this whole last week of work was great because the owner was on vacation <laughs> and when oh, he's nice. not there everything is so much better <laughs> yeah that's most places yeah he's uh he's back this this upcoming monday and i'm really concerned because um i could skip ahead at this point i have some pictures here Ooh. um when i came into work friday morning there was um a crowd of my co-workers gathered around the back like parking lot area and i was like huh that's weird what the fuck so 
overnight, apparently, our guess is that it was either a large truck or something equivalent, tore off the street, through this dude's backyard, tore through his shed, and through the fence that we have that separates our business oh, oh. from the, uh, the, the little house. Oh, god damn. And then he just, he kept Jesus going. Age. He slammed into our dumpsters and still had enough force going for the dumpsters to fuck up our gutters. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm really excited for the owner to get back and be like, so what the fuck? Yeah, you I, mean, I don't even wanted this to happen, so what the hell? Uh, was yeah, everyone right? okay? Everyone's fine. No one was there. Like, this happened while we were all home overnight. Okay. Okay. Uh, no one was injured. This guy, even the person who did it, wasn't injured because they drove away after. We don't know who did it. <laughs> There's cameras, but like perfectly pointed away from everything that happened. Um, I made these little things. I also another picture of them. They're like little little tags you put on uh, like broken machines. And uh, I really wanted to steal one to wear as a necklace because I'm broken. I'm in mood, first off. <laughs> and I see like... Nick is hashtag a criminal. <laughs> well, when I'm playing with all the machines in there, which is a bad way to talk about work, but it's what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I can make so much cool shit with this stuff, but that would technically be stealing. So I guess I shouldn't do that. I mean, now's the perfect time since your boss is not there. It's true. Um, no, the boss isn't there, but the people who actually know what they're doing are there. Yeah. I learned more this week than I did the entire time that the owner was here. <laughs> uh, let's see. One of my notes is like other people's dogs. This one's, I mean, okay. Hear me out before you say it's fucked up. Okay. So I went out to lunch and That's uh, up. I, I know I ordered my food and I'm waiting at the pickup window. Uh, well, window, whatever. I'm inside. So the pickup stand area and this old couple comes in after me and they make their order and the old guy takes out cash. And, like, it falls all over the floor. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. I don't want this old guy to fucking bend over and pick up the money. So I, I go and I pick it up and give it to them and then go back. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't have done that for my grandma. Like, it's just, it's that thing. I don't want a dog, but I like other people's dogs. Uh, it is where I'm going with this. And I wouldn't do this for my grandma, but I would do it for this random old couple that I don't know. <laughs> and I feel like it's bad somehow. Nah. Do you like your grandma? Not a chance in hell. Well, what that the fuck? I'm supposed to take her to people, Applebee's. <laughs> these old people <laughs> haven't done anything wrong with you. Yeah. Like they just walked in and dropped shit, and I'm like, I can fix that problem. That's crazy. <laughs> Other than that, I'm, I'm watching my weekly stuff. Gundam good. House Paradise good. Dead Man, Death, whatever. Still good. Hell yeah. One Piece, good. Hell yeah. Really upset that Ready there's for the a month five break? week... Yeah. yeah, five week break in between chapters, but it's for surgery, I guess. It's fine. Oh, Oda needs to get surgery to fix astigmatism. Yeah. I, Listen, uh, whatever helps Oda be healthy means right? that One Piece doesn't end early and unfinished. Yeah. Yeah. I watched the first episode of Spy Family, mm -hmm. and I made it this far into this, not even just shows, like this manga's existence. Mm-hmm. Without knowing that the baby has powers. Yeah. I, I had no idea. I yeah, mean, she, yeah. She's an esper. <laughs> I, I just, I thought she was just a girl. Nope. I, but yeah, I'm going to be watching uh, more of that probably. Hell yeah. Let me see if I can find it. There's a picture that will ruin uh, Spy Family for you, Nick. Please don't do that. What What is what is the picture? No, 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 I would no, like spoiler. to know. Uh, I, I just got to Google it real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, um, let's see. What else? What else? I... I just I don't have time anymore. It sucks. It sucks a lot. Today's been like today's a day off for me. I did nothing and I still had no time because I woke up and I had stuff to do in the morning and then I had to run D&D &D, and then I had to eat and take a shower because I have work tomorrow and then I have this podcast and then I have to go to bed probably soon. Yeah, Nick, welcome to the true man's world. Yeah, you know what? Being a true man sucks. I want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I want to kill you also. Yeah, hell yeah, let's go, buddy. I, uh, whew. imagine, like, I imagine it would be so much worse if I didn't at least even a tiny bit enjoy what I was doing, because I do, I genuinely do. It's yeah. cool to, like, make a thing, you know, yeah. as simple as that sounds, <laughs> but ah. also I still hate it here. I have found the image. I Thank apologize. God. 
It's all I, good. Uh, typing this character's name unfortunately brings up a bunch of JoJo. You know? Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm happy for her future. This little girl grows <laughs> up, and she's like, that 16-year-old boy in that white robot? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Gundam. Very worried about the next episode of Gundam, because it can only end a couple of ways from here. I, yeah. <laughs> Why is that all you got, That's Nick? how all Gundams, though. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. All right, well, then that means it's time for us to get into Dip Chips! <laughs> oh, do we have a button for that? No. No, we have music. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, music, please. Fellas, this week for Dip Chips, we decided to, to try out having an apple pie and sharp cheddar cheese. Some of us apparently just didn't do apple pie for some fucking reason. So what do we think of the pie and cheddar cheese? Wait, 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 wait. Quick question. Because yeah. I forget. Yeah. Whose fucking idea was pie. this? Hey. Charles. Yeah. So mad at you. I've heard it mentioned <laughs> on a bunch of podcasts. And I was like, you know what? We should, we, we get, we're going to do this. We're going to, I need to know. Fucking sake of curiosity. I got to fucking know. Are we putting our stuff in Boardwalk or General? Uh, Boardwalk. Okay. All right. I want Carl to go first since it was his fucking idea. All right. Um, I have pictures. <laughs> okay. Of our pie. I was gonna make it from not from, quite from scratch. I was gonna get a uh, you know that's the, the podcast general. And stuff. I was You're gonna the one who said Boardwalk. You ignorant. I slut. know. I'm an ignorant <laughs> slut. I'm a dumb, stupid idiot. Uh, Ooh, yeah. There's our pies. Uh, Medi yeah. Medi also had some. We stopped at Stop and Shop before we went to uh home from the movie and we grabbed, grabbed a pre-made pie. pie i was gonna make our own and i didn't have time to this week because i hate being alive Hell so we yeah, did this brother. and it um uh eight out of ten this is fucking good this is witchcraft i hate wow. this all right i'm I hate gonna it. hit you i'm gonna hit you with the upsetting. polar opposite it was upsetting it's sorcery <laughs> so uh let me preface this by saying i hate apple pie uh-huh which I'm pretty sure I said when we agreed to do this. Mm -hmm. um, That's why I went with not apple pie. I had kind of forgotten why I hate apple pie. It's been so long and I just know I don't like it. And I remembered uh, it's the autism. <laughs> oh, in, in, in the apples? Yes, the, uh, apples cause autism. The yeah. aptism? <laughs> the aptism, aptism, baby. That's bad. Yeah, no, I just, I put it you in know, my mouth great, and I want to die. That's that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's this episode's title. Hell yeah. Aptism. <laughs> Why are you down in notes? <laughs> You're so right. We cannot forget. I can't, I can't edit it. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, uh, I don't know. It's a texture thing. I put it in my mouth and I want to take it out of my mouth immediately or I'm going to throw up. But, but, the cheese <laughs> somehow prevented it from making me want to throw up instantly. Mm-hmm. It, it protected my autism. <laughs> <laughs> that's the hell well, of a that's statement. Good. The cheese protected my autism is a hell of a statement to say. Put that shit on a shirt somehow. <laughs> um, so I, think I, think I remember shirt. saying uh, to this to you, Carl, about this exact thing. Oh, yeah. did you tell him about this? Yeah, I, I told him because when we were discussing it the other day, you were like, it sets off my aughts. <laughs> Except the cheese stopped it. <laughs> you know, my only complaint is just like anytime I have apple pie, the apple's always like hard, and I expect them to be a little softer mm -hmm. and nicer. And Betty was like, "Yeah, that was my next problem too." Basically, so like I still don't love this. This is not something I would seek out and enjoy on my personal time, but it made me able to eat apple pie. So I'm gonna give it a five. Yeah, I, I don't know how. Adding sharp cheddar to an apple pie makes it better. But I it hate does. that it was good. It's upsetting. It's deeply upsetting. Oh, Medi, what do you score it? I'm I'm scoring it like a seven. Yeah, this wow. it was good. Pie good. Okay, so pie I like triangle. to. Uh, I like to reiterate that uh, I do not like apple pie. I also couldn't <laughs> find apple pie even even if I wanted to to get it. So. Um, I also couldn't find sharp cheddar. Uh, I only got my hands on mild cheddar. So you just didn't do it? <laughs> no, I did it. H here are my ingredients. This is, the, the, this is what I had to work with. All right, let's see. Let's see. So I got blueberry squares. These, these are pies, just very small pies. 
They're miniature, like no, one yeah, bite. I accept those. I accept those. One bite pies. And uh, yeah, uh, so because I couldn't find sharp cheddar, I went with mild cheddar and something completely different. I went with jalapeno Havarti. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like to get weird on this podcast, all right? So so here are my uh, here are my before pictures. Oh, okay. yeah, shit. Pictures. My bad. I have those, actually. Don't worry about it. And uh, here are the afters. It doesn't, doesn't matter pretty. if we see the pictures as long as the audience sees them. Yeah. Mm. Damn good pictures. And uh, yeah, here's here's my approval rating on it. Ooh. Well, that's a thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up. up. Ooh. Um, this was shockingly delicious. <laughs> this has no right to be this good. So now we can confirm that it doesn't just work for apple pies. It works for most pies. It it, it, it damn well works for fucking blueberry. Damn. Uh, they're all good. I didn't like the Havarti one as much. The, ch- the cheddar was definitely way superior. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Havarti, uh, I'll go ahead and give it like a five. It was, okay. it was middle of the road. Um, the cheddar... Uh, I'm going to have to go with Carl and give it an eight. Wow. Damn. Wow. Um, I'm surprised. But I did decide to go a little beyond with it. Uh, oh, and by a little beyond, I mean, I combined both, both cheeses. Oh, All right. my God. <laughs> okay. Um, even though this one had the cheddar, the Havarti knocked it down like a peg. It it, uh, it was good, but not as good as it as it could have been. I give it like a uh, six and a half. See, That's the fair. thing is, I feel like if I tried specifically what PM is doing here, like the little blueberry square with melted cheddar, I would like that even more. I'm so Just glad I, I went pie. with this. Yeah, no, that's that's smart. I'm gonna feed this to Nick's grandma next time I see her. <laughs> I know we're going out to Applebee's and everything, but I did bring you a pie that I made myself with cheddar and <laughs> blueberries. I, I'm surprised that we just all, except Nick, kind of rated this pretty high. I'm a stubborn bitch. I mean, that's high for Nick's standards. It is, in actually. Of, in terms of apple pie. Nick's a picky little bastard. I really am. I don't Damn. like most things. <laughs> that's crazy. Look, to, to all the people listening to this podcast... One day, pro- you're probably going to become parents. And by today's standards, that child is probably going to have autism. Just feed him <laughs> a bunch of cheese. <laughs> and it'll make I, it go I, away. Or at least, like, put it to the side I, a little bit. Mm, <laughs> make it go away. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, any parents trying to deal with an autistic child, just, like, reach out to me. I can't just fix it, just, me. but I just am stupid. Cheese. Just grate some fucking sharp cheddar right in their mouth hole. <laughs> Start them young. Just, just make sure they always have a craft single in their pocket. <laughs> just think, like, and whenever they get an episode, you know, just whip it out. <laughs> fucking, fucking nibble on a little bit of cheese and you're, you're set. You're good to go. Unless they're lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely getting canceled this episode. <laughs> this is it. This is, oh, that's this the preview clip. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I was really worried it was going to be aptism. <laughs> All right. Um. So do we want to do uh, combining two fast food items next week? Or do we want, do we want to do the Dairy Queen Glizzard? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm already, I'm telling you, I'm not doing the fucking Glizzard. Let's, com- <laughs> let's combine two things, but let's give it a week. Let's give yeah. it a rest. We'll give it a week. Okay, so nothing this upcoming week, and then next yeah. week is fast food. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is, the, what is that fucking, it's the week of the 25th? Uh, Yes. Do we want some questions? Yeah. I mean, Wait not particularly, me. but you're going to give them to me What anyway. the fuck, Mehdi? I'm sorry that this episode is going really long, Misha. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We had long weeks, I'm sorry. We did have long weeks, they're crazy. Uh, if you have any questions, Shh. you can send them into questions at dipships.boats, or you can s- just tweet at us, dipshipspod on Twitter, you know? Or, you know, just scream into your mailbox. That won't work, but you can do at it. Post- It'll right, be right. funny. Scream into postage. an envelope and then put it in your mailbox. Well, listen, if you yeah. scream into your mailbox and close it fast enough, eventually when your mailman comes to put mail in the mailbox, it'll, it'll, it'll just be blasted. True. Hams asks us, uh, first off, the title of this email, Gay Robot Sex is Canon to Transformers. I okay. believe it. Happy Pride. Yes. 
Happy Pride. Uh, Hams asks, what's the most unhinged take you've ever seen? Mine is this dude talking about being a trans ally because he bought a toy robot from a multi-million corporation. What? <laughs> cool. Okay. Is this about how some Transformers are now... I don't know. I don't oh, Transformers. Transformers. Oh. oh. Yes. Sweetie, they're not... Oh. Sweetie, they aren't cisformers. <laughs> right. <laughs> not cisformers, is it, cunt? They just linked this video, so I guess this is what they're talking about. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm scared. I'm not gonna stay there. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, I just I just remembered, actually. Okay, let me... I don't know if I can find the picture. Oh. I'm gonna scroll up real quick. Medi, go first. Yeah, this is, this is literally someone talking about how certain fucking Transformers characters are canonically... Uh, what, what's... It's not transgender because they are robots who don't have gender, but... Bo body... It, mm. Even though uh, there are clearly uh, like female and then yeah. and male All right. robots, but you see the thing is they weren't created that way. They How uh, were they? They intentionally changed their bodies into these new forms. You see. Then explain Black Arachnia with her giant fucking spider titties. The she fuck? scanned a female spider. Stupid. Mm. There's a spider transformer. Beast Wars. Yeah. Or oh, beasties okay, yeah. or that, beast that machines. Makes sense. You know, a character who's not in the funny new movie. Uh, wildest, stupidest takes I've ever seen, uh, are from Cat. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. Like yep. Cat or Prowly on Twitter. It's usually yep. those two. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the most insane Cat take. There's a lot. There's a lot. I'm fucking struggling. To come up with an insane Cat take because there's a lot of them? Yeah. No, uh, I haven't been following them that long, so I haven't seen many insane takes. There it is. Okay, I found it. So I need you guys to uh, decide with me, right? Okay. So the most insane shit that I've seen recently is this tweet uh, where Elon Musk tweets, haven't even had sex in ages, and this dude pops out of nowhere, and I'm trying to decide if this tweet reply means that he wants to have sex with Elon Musk or if he is volunteering his wife to have sex with Elon Musk. This is clearly him offering himself to Musk. That's what I'm yeah, thinking, this is, right? That, that's him offering himself up. So, that's yes, him yes. offering his butthole. Yeah, so the, this is the, a whole the, new level. The line, she would even be proud of me, is what sells that okay. idea to me. Yeah, no, this is this is him offering his himself uh, because he's scared of gay people. I mean... <laughs> he wants to fuck Elon Musk. I mean, um, no, wait, yeah, that one. Yeah, no, you're right. Both those things, in fact. Yeah, I saw this and I was upset for like a week. <laughs> I mean, I would be Elon's butt slut if it. If fucking, he paid me, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, if he paid me for it. Yeah, if... but this dude's not going in here to get paid. Yeah, no, the, this he's going in here purely for the pleasure. <laughs> he's he's going in here because Elon Musk. I, I really can't think of an insane take off the top of my head because there's been so many that I just sort of have been numb. That's my, fair. My specific like cat quote that 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 I can like bring up for this podcast started an entire era for this podcast uh, to where we even did a segment about it. Oh, yes, oh the whole butter. Yeah, the the whole uh, peanut butter and jelly makes the sandwich slide. What? Yeah. Oh, you weren't here for that. <laughs> it was. It, it's a whole thing. It was a whole Cut arc in, in our show. <laughs> okay. Made a sick sandwich out of it, though. That's true. It was a good sandwich. <laughs> Tasty. I, I can't think of anything like that, but I do have a. I'll just say a quick, a crazy fucking tweet that has been living in my mind this whole uh, week. Yes. No. Uh, understandable. Yes. <laughs> Just one of the fucking Yugi tubers just fucking tweeting a picture of anime Lois Lane and then just plap 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 get pregnant get pregnant get pregnant. <laughs> All right, yeah. Now, now I saw you tweet something about that, and I really just wanted to block you. Listen, listen. <laughs> it's fair. It's understandable. <laughs> Is this not the most understandable this man has ever been? I mean, absolutely. Anime Lois Lane is completely plappable. <laughs> yeah. Also. Uh, petition to start plappable as a <laughs> fucking denied. That, that that question that we got a couple weeks ago was about like uh, uh, give uh, us a word that that you made up. You plappable. Plappable. Plappable is really good. Oh fuck. Uh, Chance asks. Uh, it's food time. 
That's it not was. a question at all. Ameti has history as a chef, which got me thinking, what's each of y'all's favorite cuisine? Either a country's or something equivalent, like Creole, barbecue, etc.? Portuguese rotisserie chicken and potatoes. That's good. I fucking adore that shit. It's so good. I, with hot with hot sauce, Portuguese hot sauce, the runny kind. Oh, it's so good. I do love me a nice barbecue. Just makes everything taste better. I have no idea what the question was. What do you mean? <laughs> I, what is your favorite cuisine? What is your favorite style of food to eat? Uh, Could be from a specific country, a specific style. I don't know. Medi's going to say yes. <laughs> That's fair. Because food tasty, and I agree. It's delicious. I was actually thinking, man, curry's fucking great. Could I just curry say is. curry? Cur- you could. It's been probably. a hot minute since I had a curry. I don't think I've ever had curry. We should, make get some curry. Yeah, we should get some fucking curry. I've you need to, curry you need to get your hands on that fucking blue Sonic curry. No. That would be great. That would be great podcast content. What are you talking about? Hey, also, we can write it off for taxes. Exactly. And you then you can make a shot with it. I think I'll kill you dead where you stand. <laughs> All right, but... Hmm. <laughs> Please don't already put that. Don't already put that. Come on. Please, God. I want you to know Med- that I'm pressing my entire face into my pop filter. Because I already, I could already tell you, Medi, Medi's already cu- uh, has like fucking three ingredients in his mind. I do actually. <laughs> Nick, please say Blue carousel. I love Get rice. some uh, jalapeno t- uh, tequila. Doesn't matter if it's white rice, Spanish rice, fried rice. Curry Just rice. give me rice. That's fair. Rice is fucking good. Uh, Lalo asks with uh, S- uh, SDGQ happening, what's a game... Airplanes, I'm sorry. What's a game that you're surprised can be finished quickly? Uh, honestly... Resident Evil, like most of them, I play through those games like maybe twice each and I take my time and check shit out. So it usually takes me like eh, six, eight hours for a clear, give or take. And then I'm like, man, I did pretty good at this. I could do like the S rank and the S rank is like beat the game in two hours. And I'm like, I'm good, actually. For me specifically, it's like RPGs because like majority RPGs, like traditional RPGs, you're limited with your movement. So you can't like jump and like clip into a specific area. And then all of a sudden you're at the end of the game. And the the way like people can like finagle like like Pokemon speedruns where it's like, all right, play the Japanese version because the text is faster. And then uh, specific uh, tips and tricks to be like, all right, this move's always going to crit. I can beat this uh, specific Pokemon if if I have the specific IVs and I use one X attack. But also shit like Elden Ring, where it's like, I I, I believe like an unpatched version of Elden Ring. Uh, I think a VTuber had like the speed run of like 12 seconds where you look at a door in a specific way and then you jump and then all of a sudden you're at, you're at credits. God, that does remind me of the first time I saw... Um... I don't know if it was Skyrim or Oblivion, but the plate thing. If you if you guys have seen it, like at the very beginning, you just pick up a plate and hold it up to oh, a wall yeah, and just push the wall. Yeah. Oh, right. And you teleport directly to the end of the game. That's Oblivion. Yeah. That uh, first time I saw that blew my fucking mind. Where uh, the game ends the second Patrick Stewart stops talking. <laughs> As it should have. You know what? Uh, actually, real answer, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. I can't believe people can play that dog shit game that fast. Did you see Billy Hatcher... Uh, Speaking of GDQ, did you see it uh, at GDQ this year? Did they I think play it was fucking... like an hour and 15 minutes or something. Yeah, they did Billy Hatcher this year. Oh, I'm going to have to fucking watch that. Oh my god. That's my favorite game. I don't know if that's true. It was one of the last games, too. No, it's one of my favorite games. I can fully admit that it's dog shit. Oh, Let's see. Fair. But I love it. Yeah, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg in one hour, nine minutes, and 29 seconds. Damn, that's Damn. wild. And that's definitely not the world record, so... Uh, did we all answer? I kind of spaced out because yeah, I, I was looking I up answered. our both fact. All right, what'd you answer? Uh, but my answer is I'm trying to think of actually a good answer. <laughs> I don't have a good answer. Never mind. I, <laughs> Mega I Man thought, Two speed run thirty. I kind of thought you were gonna say one of the Metal Gears because I would imagine that Metal Gear Solid Four is like almost impossible to speed run. No, oh, it's decently easy. It is it really? Wow, that's crazy. How fast you render the cutscene? <laughs> yeah. Uh. So you preload everything, because Metal Gear Solid 4 is that game that has to install itself 50 times. Gotcha. Uh, Stark Maximum asks, uh, on a previous episode, someone asked for one thing. That's the one we answered already. I didn't remove that one for some reason. You fool. Altos Diogenes. Hey, Alto. What 
alternative version of you would you want to interact with? Bonus difficulty, can't say a version of you that's rich. I would... Oh, fuck, that... <laughs> I was gonna say something really real, and I was like, I should make it a bit. Right? <laughs> mm. Alright, let, right. let me go the really real. A version okay. of me that's happy. Damn. <laughs> okay, I have two. One's okay. kind of a bit, one of them's pretty real. Um, okay. The thing is, I can't tell the difference between the two. Um, oh my god. So, uh, the first version is uh, the, the one that didn't break his spine and got mm-hmm. to do everything that he wanted to do in his life, like become a WWE superstar and all of that. Uh-huh. Um, and the second one is, uh, what if I didn't break off my engagement and got married to my first fiance? Yeah, you know, it is hard to say which is which. Yeah. Okay, I also have two, but mine mine has a clear delineation. I haven't told that to the internet, by the way. Oh! Or at least not a l- in a long time. I'm pretty yeah, sure I was gonna a lot say, of new people told that. A lot of new people don't know that. I don't new know that, but don't. I also don't know many things. I just assume other people do. One of the well, major worry. reasons why I'm in debt is because of that fucking <laughs> bitch. So, sorry. Only about oh 500 God. people listen to this podcast anymore, so. Jesus Christ. Uh, Let's okay. put a timestamp down there so Misha knows where to put a funny beep. Yeah. Uh, Hour 42. The roughly. bit answer. A version of me that was like four inches taller. The real answer. Uh, when I was younger and my parents broke up, I had to choose who to live with. And I picked my mom and I want to meet the one that went with my dad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I have I have a bit answer. Let's go. Yeah. yeah um, all right. Let's hear it. Funny. So, so when I was in the womb. <laughs> uh, Good start. Good start. My... My ma was convinced that uh, w- when they went to see what gender I was, my pops find out, but my ma didn't because she was convinced that I was a girl because mm-hmm. th- that that was the plan. Boy, girl, boy, girl. And yeah, you can plan that. Yeah, I, I was I was I was supposed <laughs> to be the girl. Mm-hmm. I want to meet that version. You want to meet girl pump? Girl? I want to meet girl me. See, I, I was, was gonna go with girl me, but I was like, that's too obvious for me. I'm yeah, fucking... that's, that was one of my answers also. <laughs> yeah, I'm Just not on the fucking binary already, so. Uh, hmm. I don't know, one where I'm successful and funny. But Carl, you are funny. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. Carl, if if you weren't funny, I wouldn't have agreed to do this podcast. That, you Jesus know what? That's Christ. fair. That's <laughs> nice. You know what? Understandable. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, want to do it with me either if I wasn't I'll be fucking frank, funny. Sometimes I go on your stream and you say some shit and I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, you're right. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> My man, Mr. Hands. Uh, Yas Gio, Gu- Guillo, Guillo, Yas asks, <laughs> how many chili dogs can each of you eat? Uh, well, how many breads have you eaten in your life? I could probably. Okay, fo- follow up question. Yeah. yeah. With or without throwing up afterward? Without. Without? Okay. Because the answer of with throwing up afterwards or during is I, <laughs> I can't stop. I will continue going as long as you put Chili Dog in front of me. Because, yeah, with, I can do like a good seven, maybe. I'm going to uh, say I can do four. Without, depending on the size That's and fair. how good the chili actually is. Yeah, yeah. Are we talking like. Like, are we talking Coney Island footlongs, or are we I was talking thinking, like... Uh, I was thinking the ones that are involved in the making of the Glizzard. Like the little six-inchers, or are we talking like... Let's let's just say standard. I can do two, maybe three if I'm really hungry. I usually do two. I mean, I usually do two, but that's because I eat that and I'm like, oh, I'm full, I'm good now. Yeah, but I if feel I like... had two, I feel like I could eat four. I feel like I could do... Sorry. Three, I, a regular hot dogs. It depends. I might be able to pound a couple back. But wait a minute! Like, wait, a minute, wait, a minute like, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Do they have up. cheese? Probably if it's chili. Yeah. I probably want one, one right. to be safe. <laughs> Sorry, because, I was, I was cause in my I'll, old I'll face for problems. a second. Um, I think uh, regular chili dogs. I could have like four or five. And like fully loaded Coney chili dog, like foot long dogs, maybe three. I feel like if it was a fully loaded foot long chili dog, I could eat one and I would want to die. But again, that said, uh, if you just keep putting them in front of me, I will keep eating them. <laughs> All right, let's do two short. Especially if I'm here. drunk. 
Uh, Tanya asks, have you ever gone mountain biking? Yes. Fuck! I haven't. No. Listen, Fuck. you guys have heard my really biking story biking. on this podcast. That's true. <laughs> I, I, I have not been mountain biking. Very, unsens- very insensitive, Tanya. You, Nick yeah, could have died. That is fucked up. Honestly. Fucked up. Uh, Daito asks, oh, what kind of battle theme would you guys have? Individual uh, or as a group? Ooh. Individual. Hmm. I already have I the, the perfect Fucking one picked out. Side grade Kingdom Hearts nonsense. Like, I love the dramatic <laughs> piano shit that they do in that <laughs> game. <laughs> what the fuck have you done now? <laughs> I'm so glad I gave them that image. Uh... <laughs> oh. So anyway, my perfect uh, battle song. Wow, that's a long ass fucking link. Hold on a second. Let me get a, a decent sized fucking are you, are link. Are you grabbing? Um, I think it's literally called "Battle" by Dance with the Dead. How did you know? <laughs> yeah, it's such a good song. Yeah, it's a really good one. They're also the inspiration for uh, our battle theme for D ships. Oh. Uh. I've heard the dual theme still slaps. It does? It does? <laughs> I still listen to it regularly. I yeah, I know. <laughs> Not just because I edit it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's like... F- it's one of the Fang OSTs from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Uh, it's called but, Techno Samba. But it's it's this one. It's a Draw Monster Cardo. <laughs> I love I fucking, Draw Monster Cardo. I fucking love that theme so much. It's really good. I think that's the... Th- is that the theme I use for the opening of D-Ships? I think it is. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. That track's good. Yeah, but any- anything with a violin. I'd love a fucking good violin. Let's see. Uh, I love violin got- and piano. Adds more drama. You got three times the passion of regular samba. You got six times the passion <laughs> of regular samba. Oh, God, you're right. God, the uh, Build Fighters has such good music for just It people. really does. Mine would probably be like if you can imagine a chiptune version of Weird Al's hardware store I can not even that. difficult yeah exactly you know but with the actual anvil sound still in there <laughs> that Nick did you say yours I blanked out for a second I mean I didn't have a specific like song like you did but yeah I did I did answer how dare you <laughs> do y'all Want a boat fact? Uh, depends. What is the boat fact? Is there a horse involved? No, there's not a horse this time. Is there a is shark good? involved? There's not a shark involved the, this time. Is it about is a boat the involved? death of a rival boat po- podcast? No, it is not about a rival boat podcast that is dead. Rip oh. Bozo, we win. <laughs> Let me tell you, it would have been. It would be so funny if now we managed to get one of those hosts on as a guest. It would be so funny. <laughs> Because it just uh, the whole episode straight facing at the end. By the way, just rip bozo. Ah, you suck. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should reach out. Yeah, let's reach out again. <laughs> so see if uh, this time they're amenable. So imagine that you're out at sea. All right. All right. You're on your 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 little sailboat, Yay. and you lose Yay. your rudder. Oh. Oh no. So now you're you're drifting at sea and you're lost. So of course you signal out for help, and you know the the coast guard they get they get your message. They're like, oh shit. What boat is closest to to them? Let's see if we can send them to help. And in the distance, you see a uh, 18th century merchant ship approaching your boat. Let's go. Uh, Yes. Yes, I've heard about this. Yes. I will say first thoughts upon seeing that. Go ship. I'm going to die. Yeah, that's pretty much what these (laughs) two thought. Two sailors on the Corto, a sailing uh, sailing vessel, uh, uh, was rescued by the Gothenburg. Specifically, was it the Gothenburg 2? Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> Gothenburg of Sweden? Uh, after they got stranded. just It is the oldest ship, is the wooden sailboat that still exists and makes voyages to this day. Like, this is recent that this like happened. We need to bring this aesthetic back. This I was, miss these boats. Yeah, this was right? 2023. This was April of 2023. Oh this my God. This boat just sailed over and rescued them. Oh, that's nice of them. Do they rob them? No, <laughs> no, they're, they're, it's still the money on your life. It's still used for merchant trade. It, it's still just a boat they use, or rather, awesome. your money for your life. Oh. Did the Wouldn't original be uh, slower than like modern boats, probably, you but think, it was closest. Yeah. So it was I'm the, assuming it was like even slower. It's yeah. still gonna get there faster. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was the closest one to them, so they just sent it over. And these guys were like, "Are we gonna die? Is this Pirates of the Caribbean? Are we dead?" <laughs> And then, of course, they were just saved. 
Did you guys see the canal Pardon? got blocked again? Yeah, it's, I. Man, every time that canal gets blocked, I get so <sighs> fucking happy. I need it Me again. Too. I just need another fucking hit. <laughs> oh man, shout out to the Suez Canal. Why do you fucking Let's suck? Go. But hey, ow! <laughs> that was the end all of our right. podcast. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it enough, you can give us money, patreon.com slash dipshipspod, or by subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you can't afford to do that, then hey, you know what? Podcast sink or swim based on word of mouth. So just share the podcast around to anyone who you think would like it. Hey, yeah. do, you, do you know anybody that lives in New York? Then tell them PM apologizes for his country being on fire and fucking up your city. Yeah, you oh, hey, by the way. Sorry about that. Dude, I get that. <laughs> Totally forgot to New York. About, totally yeah, we totally forgot, forgot to talk, to talk about, about how I walked outside and was like, the sky's really orange. <laughs> you totally huh. forgot to talk about how everything was on fire for like And five we couldn't days. fucking <laughs> breathe for two days. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, I walked out of my work for lunch and started choking. <laughs> Which is really funny because like I went out and I didn't notice a difference. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, because it all blew over here. Yeah. The only noticeable difference was like one night I look up at the, the sky and it's like, oh, wow, the orange is or, or the the orange. Yeah, the moon is a little <laughs> orange. What's going on? Orange. <laughs> the orange looks a little more especially orange and vibrant today. Yeah. You know, PM. Yeah. I, I got a quick question for you. Why'd mm -hmm. you light Canada on fire? Revenge. Five times why. That's I exactly it, what I, I said. Six. That's exactly what I said. That's this exactly what you were like. <laughs> Put a lit so, joint in his hair again. Yeah, smacked he put a lit it joint out. in his hair. His hair lit on fire, and he ran around Kermit flailing, and then hit a tree. Well, I didn't say that. I said that you knocked it out of your hair, and then it started a bushfire. Oh my god! But also, the thought of you running around with your hair on fire is very funny. Yeah, like Kermit going. It's, it's, it's wild because I actually have no idea what part of Canada was on fire. Uh, yes. It was Quebec, so nothing important was fire. lost. Let's okay. go. There was a lot of Canada that was on fire. Whatever, hey. I, I ain't on fire, so I guess it's fine. Hey, if you want merch, uh, go, go to streamlabs.com slash the calamity coral slash merch. Get yourself some merch. Get a bucket hat. It's a perfect weather for it. Get that bucket hat. Go and enjoy that bucket hat. Get the keychain. Keychain key perfect chain. weather for, for the keychain. Get a shirt. It's the perfect <laughs> shirt for a shirt. It's the perfect weather for a shirt. You wear a shirt. <laughs> I think they're broken. Rate us five stars, leave comments, thumbs up on the video, comment, leave algorithm, boost. Hey, turn on notifications. Uh, I hear that helps. I don't know how, but it does. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I coughed up a hairball. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you all for listening. We can see you on the nautical mile. A tool? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, yeah, bye. <laughs> I don't know, Carl's decided to just shit himself the last, like, fucking 20 episodes of the podcast. What do you mean? What do end. you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> You like you forgot how to host the last like twenty episodes of this podcast. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you just completely fumbled the last like fucking five minutes of this podcast. You forget how to uh -huh. intro. You, you you don't know what to say. Hey, hey, I don't forget you how to intro. I forget how to outro. <laughs> That's what I said. I, I said outro. No, you, no, you said intro. intro. I'm intro. old. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the nautical mile. And now well, we should. We should all right, bye. Bye. Toodles. I already stopped. Have a good one. Good thing you didn't contribute anything to that three minutes of awkward. Holy shit. <laughs> 81? Yes. 81. <laughs>
I'm I'll Danny DeVito about to just scream it. Right, let's delete all the old episodes because we don't need fucking episode 40 anymore. <laughs> Make sure I don't accidentally delete one of our fucking theme songs. <sighs> also, actually fucking upload it to Google Drive this time instead of forgetting for three days again. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Listen, I got like brain rot. That's me every week. When Friday rolls around and Misha messages me going, hey, just a reminder to do the ad break. And I go, oh, yeah, I do those. Hey, <laughs> if you ever want to, just just send me the info and I'll do them. Oh, okay. I don't mind doing it every once in a while. People like it, so. They do like uh, it. I about to say, honestly, switching up who does the ad read occasionally is probably good. I actually want to see. I want to see if there's a way that I can add other people onto the Patreon as like managers because i feel like there's gotta be a way to do that that would be like a smart thing for patreon to do so i don't think so well i just found it wow well fucking color me stupid settings oh, your nice. team do you have a team upgrade to premium and give multiple teammates access to run your account Fuck that. oh never mind that means we would lose our founders plan uh-uh what's the difference well uh, allow me to tell you actually i'll just fucking stream it to you and i'll show you Okay, so as you will see here. Oh, I have to click. Hang on. Watch stream. Founders uh, is the original plan for creators who joined before May of 2019. It is a 5% takeout from uh from our payout. Ah. Uh, Pro is about 8%, which isn't as bad, and also includes video uploads. Hmm. Which means I might be able to just throw up all of PMVA on Patreon, but then people on YouTube won't be able to watch it. Do we still not have any members? We have I one mean, member. All right, then. Who is also a patron. Be, all right, so well. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. Can you upload them to Patreon and then make them public after a certain amount of time? I probably could, yeah. So. Oh, actually, Carl, I've been meaning to, to, to talk to you about that. I think we should give, like, a couple of uh, PMVA freebies. After, give, after no, like, certain amount the of appetite. Uh, time. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, yeah, but where do we put them? We keep them up, but we, we just make them public. Hmm. I'm down for that. We, do, we just do a public post on the Patreon. Or hell, we even post it to Twitter or whatever. I feel like we should do maybe the first three episodes of a long-running series, and like the first one of one that's like a two- or three-parter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like give him Mazinger, give him, um, give him Balls, because Balls was something that people of the of the old channel we're into and give them um fma that was scary 